I think overall, I feel pretty good about myself. I feel like I put the emphasis on the right things and any of sort of the little pictures of myself as a little girl that may not have felt the cutest. It was like, well, she was the funniest and she was smart and she had a huge heart. And those are the things that I tried to emphasize. When I was in Texas over a recent Christmas, my sister was reading my diary and she found an entry when I was in fourth grade, so the same age as my eldest daughter. I was like nearly 10. And my New Year's resolution was like to lose weight. And Barbara actually like hid the journal from me because it broke her little heart to know that I felt that way at that young age. My dad became president when we were 18 years old. We were freshmen in college, so we were definitely feeling the freshman 15. I think that was a little weird. And to see our pictures on the cover of magazines was a strange thing. My mom never talked about diet. She never talked about the way she looked. She definitely would never self-hate in front of us. I want to make sure that I'm modeling that type of love to my kids. Mila and I will we'll go for walks. They see me work out. They play sports. I encourage them to stay active, but we're not uh, sitting around talking bad about ourselves. What? <laughs> when I first Three, met Amanda, four. we started talking about finding your core and what that means metaphorically for women and, and obviously literally yeah. um, making sure you're engaged. But we started talking and we both realized we both had had eptopic pregnancies. Mm -hmm. um, I had one years ago before I got pregnant with Mila. Three. I hadn't really engaged my core because I'd had six or seven stomach surgeries with C-sections and appendicitis, ectopic pregnancy. And so I'd sort of lost that part of me, but also, you know, as a woman, it was a really hard thing to go through. And I was meeting Amanda sort of right after I went through it. Just reaching out and, t and telling people around me what I, I went through, realizing how many other women have gone through mm -hmm. it, and that there is such a community of women that can show up for each other. Hi, niece. I think that's the thing about women's health is that it's not just about looking skinny or yeah, looking yeah. a certain way or fitting into your jeans. It's like about feeling healthy all the way around. I kind of just brought her back to like pulling up and finding her core in like a happy, fun way that was with friends. Here we go, bicep curls. She loved dance cardio. I love dancing, so it was a perfect mix. Sometimes you're like, oh gosh, I'm so tired. The kids were up all night. There's like a million excuses, but the second I would meet Amanda, she was smiling and we would like start dancing. It was like whatever was hanging on us from the days before, from the night before would release. You asked me earlier about like my little self and there's something about being alone with yourself that like makes you love that little person. And I loved her then, I love her now. And it isn't about, again, looking any sort of way. It's about giving yourself the space so that you can show up for yourself and for others. Thank you, Amanda. Can I just thank yes. Amanda, who is incredible and has changed my life, and for sharing her story as well, and also the Trinity Boxing Club for hosting us. Good for you. It's like in inspiring. Like we want, if you want to change your life, just start. Do it. Start. <laughs>